In this video, I wish to demonstrate how we can upload the latest firmware to a Topcon HyperSR GNSS receiver. On my desktop, I have Topcon receiver utility already pre-installed. You also should have this installed on any Topcon field controller that is used with GPS. To launch a program, double click and we can see the main display for TRU. We need to go to the device button, navigate to the application mode and just make sure we're on firmware loading. So that's the particular mode we're in. We can then go to connect and with the Hyper SR, um, we have the ability to load the latest firmware via Bluetooth. You can use a serial cable, you can use the USB cable. I've selected Bluetooth from the top. Um, the device is already registered or recognized, but if this is blank, basically we tap the three icons. Let me just delete this. You will see an empty list. You right click, you press add, then we go to this three dot icon again, uh, and then we can right click and then refresh. And this will perform a Bluetooth search. And hopefully, if you've got the receiver switched on, we'll be able to find the Bluetooth address. So that was previously displayed, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So you just highlight it. You'll notice the serial number is displayed. So that um, corresponds to this serial number on the label. We highlight it as I say, press OK. The address populates in this box, we press OK again. Uh, and then you'll see the device in your, your list. Press OK once more. And we can see the Bluetooth address here. Press connect and allow it to connect up. We hit this icon here. We need to target the receiver board. So from the drop down, just make sure we've chose the right board. Some of these boards aren't applicable to uh, this particular piece of hardware. Um, in the latest version of TRU, I think I'm in 3.4, you've got the option for a one file um, .ldp uh, load. So just leave it as it is. I think it's default with this particular receiver. You can't choose anything but that. Press next uh, and here, I can just interrogate um, some information about the receiver. So what is the GNSS board model? It's a B110. Uh, what is the particular firmware it's loaded? At the moment, it's got the latest. There's no harm in this demonstration to reload it, but it's patch 10. Um, and if I wanted to download the latest firmware, I basically go to my browser. I navigate to um, Topcon positioning and then at the top, on the tabs, there's a My Topcon. Obviously, you need to have a login credentials, which you can you can create for yourself, and then you can register a product by going to this tab. Once you're signed in, you can select the product by searching from it for it by typing in the search bar or using the list function here to find it via category or you just basically find the image and you click on it and that will take you through to this page here. You get a little ribbon at the top. This indicates there are updates. I will say if it's magnet field, um, it's always good to speak to one of the support team just to make sure that the release isn't buggy sometimes things aren't properly field tested but generally speaking if it's hardware and firmware you're good to go so it does pop up it does let you know there um, going back to this particular page um, you can see I've pre-registered so using the serial number and my account I've re registered this product and then it gives me the ability to move on to this link here firmware and software updates 
and I can see in the top here in the firmware section I've got a file for the firmware itself which is this patch 10 I can see a PDF release notes and this is the USB driver you need to install if you wish to connect via USB to mini USB cable you can also see you can download your TRU versions here so this version is specific for the FC uh, 2600 uh, then we've got here a version for a PC personal computer then we have a version here for uh, Windows Mobile um, untethered and then tethered so this would be loaded to uh, a field controller such as an FC336, FC500, T18. This version you'd load to an FC5000 because it runs Windows 10. Or in my case, I've used it to download it to my desktop on my Windows 10 laptop. And this is just for a slightly older field controller. But simply download it, save it to a directory. Then we can go back to TRU. and um, just checking again cross-referencing the patch and the board version there was only one board version to download from so we're good to go we press next leave the data packet size as default um, hit this icon file icon to the right just to dig down into your directory just to make sure you're loading the correct firmware so I can see from here I've saved it into a file called HyperSR, then extracted that file into into here, and it gives me um, the the correct file to to choose um, to load here. So I just press open, double check um, direct my di directory to that file is correct. Still press next. And then via Bluetooth, what's actually happening, this uploading the flash image is um, downloading the file to the to the GPS receiver. This is why you get these lights going solid and reacting the way they are. Once it's downloaded, it then performs the load sequence, initialize, initializes that, so the lights then change again. Going back to TRU, we press OK, and you can see it's booted us out back to the connection screen. Everything's disconnected, and what I will do, I will change the application mode to receiver managing. Then I'll connect. This time it retains the Bluetooth address because we've already gone through that connection process. Press connect. Wait for the light to go solid. Brilliant. And then I'm just going to interrogate the board just to check that we still have the correct patch loaded which we do I'll probably conclude by um, taking the device out and then make sure that um, it, is, it is tracking satellites and you obtain a fix